Hello guys, welcome to RX Tutorials. I am Rexford. Today we are going to learn progress circle charts. Progress circle charts are normally used to represent the progress of percentages achieved towards a goal. So in this uh, scenario, we have our regions, our sales revenue for the various regions as Asia, in Europe and in Africa. So we are given the targets achieved the percentages of the targets achieved. So we are going to build a progress chart to show these percentages in all the three regions. So, so let's move on to our second sheet where we have, as usual, as described earlier, we have our data. Let me increase the font. Yeah. So we are going to build these three progress circle charts so first of all what will really help us to achieve our aim is to first of all make a helper column so this helper column is going to show the percentages not achieved or the targets not achieved and the target not achieved is going to be one minus the percentage achieved so in this case we have 40. So we can just simply drag our formula down let me just uh, Rename this. Make bold. So first of all, we are going to insert our chart. We will first insert a blank chart so you can simply click anywhere within the sheet worksheet and go to insert, and then we insert a donor chart. So we have our blank. We have our blank donor chart. So in our blank donor chart, we have to select the data that we want to build with this uh, chart. So we we'll right click, go to select data. We can name it and then we go to edit. In the edit series, we can name the series name anyhow, anyhow you want to. So we go to the series values. In the series values, what we want to do is we want to create the various divisions within within the chart so as you can see as the series is only the value is only one you can see that there's only one division within the donor chart so we want to create various divisions within the chart so let's say you can choose any value let's use uh, 20 divisions or 25 or 30 anyhow you want so you can just Add one. Let's repeat this, duplicate this. Yeah. So we click OK. So let's click OK. So as you can see on the screens, we have various divisions within the donut chart. We can remove our legend, select it and click delete. So we have our divisions. In our divisions, what we can do is I can select uh, this and then select the series name. Press Control One to open the former data series. In the former data series would want to first of all change the fill for this so we can change the fill for this to this color and then we want to go to the series the effects or the series options in the series option what we want to do is we want to change the donut size because we want to make our chart a little bigger so we have to decrease the chart let's set it up to 55 so you have bulky chart so I think this is okay so let's select the chart itself so in this case the chart is selected in the chart itself we go to the fill and we select no fill in the border we go to no line So we have our chart, our first chart. 
so we can duplicate this first chart so just select the chart control c to copy and then we can click here and then control p to duplicate this we can do another one so let's off click here to select the chart and then you can just put it here let's click here let's make another chart so we have three charts yeah so let's change the colors of this chart we can change this also control one to open the format data series we go to the series colors and then we want to change this to this deep red and then we go to the last one the colors we want to change this to the violet color so we have our three charts we have our three charts so let's go we can select this chart press control shift so let's first of all let's select our first chart in our first chart right click and then go to select data i want to add a second series name so we say add in our second series name what we can name our series name to be a series name to be and let's say we know that this is Asia in a series values we want to select the value the targets achieved and the target not achieved so this will be our series values and let's click OK and OK so let's click on this and our second series because we want to make this our secondary put this on a secondary axis so we select the chart, our second chart, right click, and then we go to change series type. And the change series type, what we want to do, we want to put this chart in this as the secondary axis. So this is the chart we just created, that is for Asia. So then we will check the secondary axis. So we have like this because the chart is covering the other chart. So what we are going to do is we click this to select the whole chart make a second click this selects the right side of the chart open the format data series that is that is control one to open the data series so with this selected with this selected we want to go to the fill and in the fill We'll say no fill, and in then we click, we double click on the other axis to select this side. So as you can see, the color is this color, and then we want to change it, yes, to a solid fill, and then in this solid fill, we want to change it to a white solid fill, and then we come to the transparency. We want to change the transparency of this fill. So let's say, I think 20% is okay. So we have our first chart, as you can see, very neat chart. So this shows the percentage. So the second, the second axis, which shows a 60%. This is the 60% the chart that we have made solid fill. And in this, that is the no fill showing the other percentages. So let's move on to our second chart. We are, what we are going to do is we're going to repeat the same thing for our second chart. So let's select our second chart, right click, and then select data. So we are going to add another data. So in our series name, in this case will be Europe. And in our series values, we are going to select the value that corresponds to the target achieved and the target not achieved for Europe. So we selected it and then let's click OK. OK here. So as we did for the first chart, we select the chart, click on the change series type, 
we move the second child that is zero to the secondary axis so in the secondary axis so as you can see this part which is the blue part represents the 75 percent so obviously that's the larger part and our second part is the 25 percent because that's the there are two data series so we select the first data series and then do a second click to select only this series and then we open the format data series which is control one in the format data series we go to the fill and in the fill we'll make this fill no fill because we want to review the secondary axis so we click we double click on the third on the second series and in this case we'll make it a solid fill like we did make it white it's already white and in the border and the transparency we change this to 20 percent so that's the second chart that is ready and in the third chart we repeat the same thing select data you go to the R data series and the series name will be Africa and in the series values will be the values of the target achieved and the target not achieved for Africa we click OK select the chart that is the, the secondary chart select the chart and then right click we're going to change the series type and we put this in the secondary axis click OK double click click on the first click the first time for the whole chart click the second chart press ctrl 1 to open the format data series we go to the fill in the fill we'll change this to be no fill in the second part we'll change this to be a solid fill and white and we'll change the transparency to 20 percent So here we have all our three charts showing the various progress in all the regions so we can select all our charts and then let's go to the shape format and let's align this to the middle and let's we want to distribute this horizontally so that at least we have all the, the distances are equal so our charts are beautifully aligned and then what we are going to do we can change the chart title for example we can remove the chart title yeah let's remove the chart title because we are going to create our own chart our title click on delete what we are going to do we are going to represent the various uh, percentages in the chart so we are going to go to insert go to insert a text box so in this text box we can we don't want so we can do a dynamic chart uh, text box so what we are going to do is select the text box go to the to the formula bar so this is the Asia, which is we are going to do a cell reference. So this is 60 percent. You can copy this. Click on this. So let's move this. Yeah. Let's move this, and then we just click on the go to the formula bar and this is going to be this we can do the same for the last one
let's position our, our percentages we can make it align it middle yeah let's increase our font let's make it bold Just format this, make the same thing, same thing, let's increase it, let's resize this, make it bolder, let me, so we have all our three charts, all the regions, so I want to provide, I want to create a label that will display the, the various, the three regions. So let's go to insert. Let's insert a text box here. And this text box, we can just uh, do a dynamic or you can just type it in. This will be it here. Let's center this. Increase the font. So let's duplicate this. Let's duplicate this. So for the second one, which is Europe, so we can simply change this to nine, and this we can click. So this saves us a little time. We have all the three labels. I want to put them. I want to put them on a card or something like that on a shape. So I'll select this shape. I'll just create a shape here. So what I want to do is I want to make the shape the same color as this. And just put it here. Just select the shape and then go to sh the shape format. Send backwards. We send it backwards. And let's resize this to fit in the shape. Let's select the shape. Let's put it here. Let's change the fill for the text box. So with the text box selected. I don't want any fill and I don't want any line. We can make our, our text options. In our test options, I want to change our text to Asia to white, make it bold. So we can center this. So we can duplicate this for the three, but in this case we can change the fill. We can change this to this color. Let's make it the darker one. We can make it a little change the transparency to 32 to give it a different gradient. Let's put this on. Let's put it here. Click on the shape, go to the shape format, we send it to the back. Let's resize this to fit in. You can just increase the font. Yeah. And this selected, let's change the fill, no line. Can resize this. Let's do the same for the other ones. Shape format. Let's go to. Let's send this to the back. Let's resize this to fit in just as we did for the other. 
let's increase to 18 We remove the tail and the line. Let's change the test to white, make it bold. Same here, change it to white, make it bold. Yeah. Shape format, you can group. So that we can move with it. Let's select this, select the shape, go to group, and let's group this as well. Same as this. Let's group them. So we have. So we have our labels ready with the labels indicating the various regions. So as you can see, when we change any value, for example, this goes to 40, this dynamically changes. Let's change this to, let's change the second one to 50%. And this dynamically changes. When you change the label, because with the cell referencing, our label also changes. So thank you. Watch out for more exciting videos and subscribe. Don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.